second club ever to retain the title in successive years. They start with the exact same 15 players as last year. Jerry Kane and Brian Feeney dominate the defensive formation. Brendan Keogh and Brian Hanley continue their midfield partnership, while the attack looks awesome with the likes of Joe Rabbit, Cahill Morn and Eugene Clunan amongst the potential scorers. In contrast to their opponents is Greg Ballycallan's first ever visit to Croke Park. Goalkeeper Johnny Ronan is protected by a defence built around the inspirational skills of Johnny Butler and James Ryle. The team captain James Young has established a formidable reputation with Eddie O'Dwyer at centre field, while the attack can boast household names like Dennis Byrne, Adrian Ronan and Eddie Brennan. Refereeing the All-Ireland Club hurling final for the very first time is John McDonald from Ross Gray in County Tipperary. Athan Rye playing with a slight wind advantage in this uh, opening half. And the first attempt at goal goes to the left and wide. And shot by Cahill Moore. The champions, of course, will be hoping to unsettle the new arrivals to Croke Park in the early stages. Referee blows his whistle for a while, pulled by a Greg Valley Callan defender. So an opportunity for Athen Rye to get their names on the scoreboard. It's hard to imagine Eugene Clunan, who's only just 22 years of age, looks like he's going for a goal. And he's a bit disappointed. He lifted it a little bit too high, but Athen Rye get the point. Michael Hoy. Greg Bally Callan's first real attack. Eddie Brennan hits it well and sends it over the bar for an equaliser after almost four and a half minutes of play. Well pulled on by Tomas Comerford. Comes straight to Donald Morn and Donald sends it over the bar. Hasn't played much for the county, but uh, certainly this season, scoring seven points in the championship. Donald Moran is building a fine reputation for himself with his club. Joe Rabbit coming in, sending it low, down towards centre-half forward. Pat Higgins gets away from his marker and gets away as well from Johnny Butler to register his first point. Nathan Rye back in front with just one point. Greg Valley Callan into the attack now and they have possession. John Hoyne sends that over the bar. Won an All-Ireland minor in 83 hoping to add to his tally with a victory here today. Challenged by Joe Rabbit, not deemed illegal and Rabbit gathers cleanly. Slither on the hurley. Cahill Moran is creeping inside. Paddy O'Dwyer has to come across. Eugene Clunan is now available. Good defending by O'Dwyer. Great defending by the number three. He's giving a heroic performance to full back. And certainly here he could have been caught out, but uh, stuck to his task admirably and defended brilliantly. Once again, Eugene Clunan. Not hitting this well to Joe Rabbit. Goalkeeper. He looked a very unsure and was just happy to scoop it out for a 65. Because this looked very precarious. The goalkeeper really should have done better here. Had the time to gather it, but just decided to get it out over the end line. Eugene Clunan hits this a little bit better and hits it over the bar for his third point of the match. And again is Paddy O'Dwyer. Under pressure this time. Coming through is Pat Higgins. Carl Moore to his right. Higgins alone. Oh, a brilliant save by Johnny Ronan. Any doubt about his goalkeeping prowess is swept away by this brilliant point-blank save from Pat Higgins. This looked destined for the top right-hand corner. Eugene Clunan. Sends the 65 straight over the bar for his fourth point of the match. Go, 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 
looking towards Michael Hoyne. Then needs the support of somebody outside him, which isn't readily available. And Michal Crimmins comes away with it. The goalkeeper loses out. Michal Hoyne. Over towards centre-half forward, John Hoyne. He sends that over the bar. John Hoyne will take the credit. Up towards Pat Higgins. He's certainly uh, causing Tomas Comerford plenty of uh, concern. As that ball is lashed over the bar. That's a great point from out on the far wing. And certainly Athen Rye have the potential up front. Remember, Athen Rye are playing with wind advantage in this first half. And just over two minutes left now in this first half. Great catch. It's going to be free for Greg Valley Callan for that foul on Eddie O'Dwyer. Adrian Ronan sends that over the bar for his thir third point of the match and reduces Athenry's lead to just two points. Eugene Clunan to take this uh, first free at the very start of the second half to increase his side's tally to nine points and increase their lead by three. Coming away with it is David Donahoe. Inside towards Donald Moore. Chance of a point. Well taken. Third point for Donald Moore. And Athen Ryan now lead by four. A loose ball. Eddie Brennan. Eamon Kyo there for Athen Ryan. James Young. Had to work so hard. And Greg Bally Callan get their first score in the second half after eight minutes of play. The Kilkenny and Leinster champions are having to work very, very hard to get any shot at goal. Eamon Kill gathers the quick puck out. Joe Rabbit bursts aside the challenge of three Greg Valley Callum players and gets his first point to the All-Ireland Final. It means Athen Rye have a five-point advantage thanks to that last point from their captain. This is Tomas Dermody, giving it outside towards Adrian Ronan. Trying to cut an angle for himself, and Ronan did very well. His first point from play, and his fourth in the All-Ireland Final. And it's back now to a four-point advantage for Athen Rye. Joe Rabbit again at the far side. Trying to make an angle for himself, and he's furious with the referee's decision. And for the second time, he gives some dissent, and for the second time, he's punished. The referee deemed he was taking too many steps. This to bring Athen Rye within three points. Straight over the crossbar. Five points for the corner forward. Good work by Jim Ryan, knocking it down to Alan Hoy. Tomas Sturm, Comerford, Greg Valley Callan fighting now, showing a little bit of spirit. The ball is loose, comes back outside, hits it. Goal for Greg Valley Callan. Adrian Roman. This is what the Kilkenny and Leinster champions needed, and they finally got the break. The long ball delivered, it came out to Adrian Rodan, and he smacked it on. Halfway through the second half, 15 minutes to play. The All-Ireland champions' character will now be tested by the Kilkenny and Leinster men. The sides level in Croke Park. This to put the Kilkenny and Leinster champions in front. For the first time in this second half, Adrian Ronan raises the white flag. 
to put his club in front. A goal in six points with a corner forward and a goal in ten for Greg Ballycallan. A double substitution for Athen Rye as they now decide to make sweeping changes. Going off is Brian Hanley and also going off is Cahill Moore. And coming in is Dermot Burns and Shane Donahoe comes in at midfield. Nathan Rye seemed to be coasting to victory but just didn't seem to be able to put away Greg Ballet Callum. And uh, the Kilkenny champions are going through this period of dominance now that they've enjoyed in every match in their campaign. Brilliantly cut by Eddie Odewire. He feeds Ronan. He's going to go for the points. Adrian Ronan has come alive. Cleverly, Johnny Ronan feeds this wing, where Athen Rye seem to be in trouble. John Hoyne switching across to Ronan, who is sparkling this game with a display of wonderful hurling and scoring accuracy. A goal and nine points for Adrian Ronan. Waiting outside is Paul Hardiman. Fouled by Tomas Dermody. Free for Eugene Clunan. Again goes for the point. And again raises a white flag. And Eugene Clunan has now reached what he did in 97 and 2000, scoring nine points in the All-Ireland Final. Good block down by Donald Moore. Dennis Byrne, trusting for possession. Trying to stay on the pitch, he succeeds in doing so. And sweeps it across towards Michal Hoyne. In the centre of the pitch, drives it long. But accurately, over the bar. What a wonderful score by the wing forward. Eddie Brennan, back outside towards John Hoyne. And they hold on for victory. Well gathered by Michal Hoyne, and hit off his right hand side gets his second point Athenry now need a goal what a turn around Paddy O'Dwyer flicked away from him picked up by Eugene Clunan take on the uh, Greg Valley Callan defence back outside towards Pat Higgins comes towards David Dunahoo hits it and sends it over the bar it's back to just three points Before all around this famous venue, you will see blue and white flags waving. If history is made. The first Kilkenny club to win the club title since 91 when Glenmore did it. But Athen Rye are not finished. Chance here. If Johnny Roman goes down on it, the ball is in the net. Athen Rye have equalised. Less than 60 seconds left in this match and let's just watch this again as Athen Rye fought bravely to sweep this ball past Johnny Ronan Ronan had it there for a moment but Eugene Clunan will take the credit a goal and nine points now we have a real sensational finish 20 seconds left in the clock Great Valley Callan doing their best to defend Donnie Moore back up to Eugene Clunan left by the shoulder, inside, there's a chance here if he can turn around, it's available, the ball is in the net, but the referee has blown his whistle. This is the incident again as Eugene Clunan gave that ball inside to Donald Moran, and the referee was perfectly correct here because you can see that Donald Moran scored by propelling the ball into the net with the hand, and that is not allowed, so the referee John McDonald, perfectly correct. But the referee has blown the full-time whistle and we're going to have extra time here what a talking point well, Kilkenny and Leinster champions will know all about draws and replays following their great tussles with Six Mile Bridge here's Donald Morn going for the goal and again Johnny Ronan gets a touch and the sides are level yet again
Dermot Hoy. Mihal Hoy giving it back outside towards Tomas Dermody. Eddie Brennan has crept inside. Chance here of a point. Well taken. Three points for Eddie Brennan. Mac and Roy make a change. And Brian Feeney is the player that's uh, got off the centre half back. And it looks like Donald Dinner who's gone back into a centre back position. Johnny Butler. Pat Higgins. He's covered every corner of the field this afternoon. And after all his hard work, loose possession away rather easily. Comes down this side towards Brian Higgins. Being chased by Michal Hoyne. It's a great ball by Higgins. And it's gone over the bar. First point for the wing back. And Anton Rye now lead by two points. Matt and Rye have made alterations. Uh, Eugene Cloonan is now at right half forward. Obviously hoping to gather more possession in that crucial midfield area. Down towards Jim Ryan. Brilliantly gathered by David Dunahoe, who sends it towards the goalpost and over the bar. Great point by the corner forward. And Matt and Rye are back in front now by three points. Eugene Cloonan without the helmet now getting away from the great Valley Collin defence cleanly for the first time well done by Joe Rabbit a full forward the captain has found the net and the positional switches finally pay dividends and may well see the end of Greg Valley Collin's challenge Eugene Cloonan sent the ball in towards Joe Rabbit the big man caught and then fired past Johnny Ronan and the first period of extra time has just come to an end this surely must be Greg Ballycallan's greatest challenge in their whole championship campaign they trail by six points with just 15 minutes to rectify the situation Joe Rabbit again causing problems on a man who has been quite heroic, Paddy O'Dwyer, for Greg Ballycallan at fullback. Rabbit again, giving it outside towards David Dunahoe. Difficult angle, and it's gone over the bar. The situation is getting worse for the Kilkenny man, and better for Athenry. Pick puck out towards Alan Hoy. Greg Ballon Callum unable to find their rhythm as a result of Athen Rye's great surge in the last five minutes. Chance here for Eddie Brennan and he takes his point. That's his fourth of the match. And now seven points between the teams. Eddie Brennan trying to get away from Jim McClunan. Challenge not a legal one. yellow card for the four-way substitute Adrian Ronan standing over this and perhaps going for the goal didn't really connect at all and the ball is still there goal for Craig Valley Callum just maybe the Kilkenny and Leinster champions aren't finished quite yet Ronan didn't really hit this one quite well at all. And there was James Young, the captain, that actually fired it into the net. Five points between the teams. Anywhere will do for the moment. Line ball for Greg Ballycalla. Dermot Hoy dropping this over the bar. Showing there's plenty of talent on the substitute bench down in Greg Valley Callan as well. Nicely picked up by Johnny Butler. Running into trouble and it's coming for it again. Well hooked this time by Jim McCloonan or Jim Burns rather. Back outside to Johnny Butler. Greg Valley Callan have once again found new energy 
but this time Botko takes too many steps and it's going to be a free for Arthur Wright. Jim McClunan with this free. That is some beltable ball. Down towards Big Joe Rabbit. Is there a finish in Athen Rye? The chance is there. And that is that in Crow Park. David Dunahoe rattles the back of the Great Valley Talon net. And now there is no doubt. Joe Rabbit once again led by example. And really, Johnny Ronan had no chance whatsoever to stop it. Donald Dunahoe. Well and truly sandwiched, and rather unnecessary now, this sort of action. Declan Higgins to take this. This is going to drop, thanks to the help of Johnny Ronan, over the bar. But no doubt where the All-Ireland champion are going to be for the next 12 months. Full time score from Crow Park. Athen Rye retained the All Ireland Club title 324 to Greg Valley Callens 219 after extra time. Eugene, did you think it wasn't going to be your day until that late goal? Yeah, we were nearly out of it, we were dead and buried, and I think the hard work we put in for the last two years stood to us, and thankfully we got a fluky goal down there, and it could have gone the other way, it could have popped outside the post, so just we were grateful to get another half an hour. And you were a different class in that extra time? But I think we did a lot of hard training and I think that's stood to us because we all felt great at the end there. So we could have stayed running for another while in, but we just, it's a wonderful feeling now. Joe Rabbit and at the Rye make history, Tommy Moore Cup goes back to Galway. And after the break, we'll be back with the All-Ireland Club football final with your match commentator, Darren.